Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to subscribe a uh, JMS message using Java. Okay, uh, so we have already created uh, uh, installed ActiveMQ and uh, we have logged into our uh, ActiveMQ console and did a test or a queue. This is a queue what we are using to publish our messages and subscribe our messages. So now the queue is empty. First, we'll send uh, one message to publisher. Uh, just as welcome message, welcome to ActiveMQ. So run this message. Uh, now it ran, it actually executed. So now we'll see the message in ActiveMQ. Okay, now we got the message in ActiveMQ. Uh, it's going to, uh, uh, uh. so it will never expire. The message will never expire until it reads. So this is a message, ActiveMQ. Now we'll get it from our, we'll read it from subscriber now. So this is a receiver, uh, this is a receiver. So I have created uh, my uh, Q name, it's a test Q1. And the default uh, URL that is test uh, TCP uh, colon uh, 61616. So that's the port, default port. So I don't have any changes here. So if you want to change your port, so you need to mention your, uh, uh, you need to mention your host name. And I'm typing here, uh, Zolo, and it, it's my local host now. So local host and the port number is 61616. So the, this is the default port. So if you want to change, if it is uh, running on different port on for your, your active MQ or your uh, uh, server is running on different queue, then change the port to here or respect to port here. And then this is the URL and I am taking the connection factory and establishing uh, for sending the parameters to uh, establish the connection. So this is the pass username and this is the password and this is the URL to which broker it has to connect. Okay, so here I am applying the connection. From the connection, I am creating a session. By using this session, we will be sent or receive the messages. Okay, uh, so this is the this is subject what we are using. Uh, this is the uh, queue, we are creating the queue. We have a queue, uh, create session. So if you don't have a queue, it will take a uh, I mean destination detail from that queue. Uh, uh, now we will uh, create a consumer. We are creating a consumer to consume a message from the uh, uh, destination what we created. Destination nothing but the queue name which have a respect to detail to read the uh, message which has already published. Okay. Now I am have a consumer, uh, consumer now. It will consume now. Uh, in the consumer, I will use the method receive. So we have multiple methods you can directly get it. So I want to just to complete message and status methods, time, 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 stop and everything. I'm using uh, consumer.resume. So we have multiple methods for the consumer to add your methods. So if you have any method selector, so you can get method selector and if, uh, uh, long time, so how much time to take uh, set message listeners. If you want to message listeners, you can create a listeners and you can set consumer for the your listeners. That message will, uh, that listener will access your uh, messages. Okay, that message will access your messages. Uh, now we got the message into, uh, we got the message from uh, uh, active MQ2 message object. Then we have message object. We can get the directive fields and we can uh, uh, we can uh, print it. So we can pass it to next things by using different methods. We have uh, we have the different methods available for the message object. Message dot uh, the float property. So also all the details. So destination details, expiry details, message expiry message ID details, and everything. So we can get those information from the message. Uh, now just we'll run it. So we have one record in our uh, we have one record in our queue. Now let's run it. The receiver and we'll see. So that is yes, successfully connected to the queue. Message received from the queue. Active queue message. And uh, this is our message. What we have it from our. Uh, uh, active MQ and uh, you will have a message ID ID as well here. Q details and this uh, particular ID message ID and uh, you will have the message ID details, the message ID details. 
message ID. So we will we'll use this information uh, as a unique test. Okay. Thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, watching this video.